Hey all, hope you're all staying health and healthy and safe. Uh, today, back with a little bit of uh, sentence diagramming and some resources that you can use in your classroom or if you are actually one of my students that you can use to review some things. Uh, my students always ask me, uh, when am I ever going to use sentence diagramming? And guess what? It's one of those times when you would actually use sentence diagramming to keep you busy. Uh, but in reality, Sentence diagramming is, is uh, kind of important. Um, as a writer, I can tell you one thing is, is definitely true, is that you're always trying to, to vary the lengths and types of your sentences, understanding how you know, parts of a sentence go together, how the different parts of speech work together, and you know, how you can move words around to make new types of sentences can really improve your writing. But in this case, it's kind of just fun to see how to, to take sentences apart. Diagramming sentences is a lot like doing a puzzle. And today we are going to start at the very basic level, which is just to be able to learn how to diagram in, in general, how a diagram works, and how to diagram simple subjects and predicates. So if you don't know what a simple subject and predicate is, that's really you know, something that you need to kind of know to do this. Um, you might not be at the, at the right grade level to be doing this, maybe 7th or 8th grade. But here in this case, if you already know what a simple subject and a predicate is, then this should be pretty simple for you, okay? We have two sentences up here on the board. I'm just going to walk you through the first one. Uh, it's a really easy sentence. People are working. Okay, simple declarative sentence. Um, you can take a look at this sentence and easily pick out the sub simple subject and the simple predicate. But I want to just show you how the diagram works so that you can use these in future videos and also on sentences of your own at home. Okay, so whenever you want to make a sentence diagram, the very first thing you're going to do is create the chart, which in this case starts out simply as a cross. And each one of these spots are meant for certain things to go in, certain parts of the sentence. Okay, um, In the first part here of the diagram is where you're going to put the simple subject. So if you look at the sentence, people are working, what you want to find is the noun or pronoun about whom, this, whom or what the sentence is actually about. And in this case, the sentence is about people. People is the noun. And it is the simple subject. So here you would write the word people in this spot exactly as it is written in the example sentence. Notice I use the capital letter P because we have people being the first uh, word in the sentence. And you always capitalize that. All right, then we need to find the simple predicate. And in this case, we're looking for, well, first thing we're going to look for when we're looking for a simple predicate is, is action. Is there a word in the sentence that shows action? Here we see the word working. We know that working is an action, but also kind of look around the word. Make sure that we don't have a verb phrase. In this case, we have a helping verb, help, helping <laughs> the actual predicate working. So you would actually put the entire verb phrase here in, in the spot where a simple predicate would go, are working. And that's basically how you do a very, very simple sentence diagram at the easiest level of just the simple subject and predicate with very simple sentences. At this point, I put another sentence up here on, the, on, on my trusty board, and I'm going to pause the video for a second, and you should pause the video, and what you should do is try it out on your own, and then I'll walk you through it. In fact, I'm going to stand really still here next to the screen so that you know it's paused. All right, that's enough. So here we have flowers have bloomed. Here's your solution. First thing you're going to do is draw your chart. Next thing you're going to do is try to find your simple subject. That is the noun, who or what the sentence is about. In this case, we have a sentence, flowers have bloomed. It's pretty obvious that the sentence is about flowers. <clears throat> so here's your simple subject, which would go directly in the simple subject spot, flowers. Now you're going to find the action in the sentence, which would be your simple predicate the verb. Okay, here we see the word bloomed. We look around it. We notice that we have a helping verb, have bloomed. And there you go. You put that on the simple predicate line. Have bloomed. You notice my line's not long enough. You can always make it longer to make your, to make your diagram look nice. Okay, now you might ask, what, why are all these places blank? Well, there are other, other parts of speech, other types of phrases and things that go into these spots on a sentence diagram that we'll cover in future videos, but I just wanted to get you started. Uh, you can definitely you know, 
do these with any of your own sentences. I, I, if you're just starting out, I would recommend only using sentences that are very simple like this, but we're just stopping when, when you have found the uh, simple subject and or simple predicate and placed it on your diagram, or just look at other videos in, in the, uh, in, on this YouTube channel and you'll be able to find solutions for more complex sentences. And we'll talk about all the other spots. Hope you enjoyed sentence diagramming. Have fun and stay healthy and stay safe.